Hello everyone, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a quick and dirty specular map for use in the Source Filmmaker. So first things first, what is a specular map? Well, long story short, it is the difference between this and this. Okay. So more specifically, what a specular map does is it effectively serves as a Fong map, where Fong is shininess. So effectively, what a specular map does is it, de it defines on a per pixel level what each individual element of the texture should have in regards to Fong, how shiny it should be. So without further ado, I'm going to kick this back. Let's show how to make a quick and dirty specular map. Uh, for those wondering, these are actually both maps I created artificially. This is the actual specular map. But, no, that's a detail. So let's get to it. So first things first is we have, you know, the actual textures. And so we're going to start by cracking open the normal map, because the alpha channel of the normal map is where the specular lives. And so this particular model actually already has a specular, but we're going to delete it and pretend that it doesn't have a specular. We're also going to want the diffuse texture. So we're going to export both of these out to Targa. And then I use PaintShop Pro, but you know, obviously you can do this in Photoshop. You have to adjust the um, processes a little bit. So come over here and we delete the alpha channel. Yes. So we'll save this as our specular. Okay, so now we don't have an alpha channel, which is the default if you're doing ports from like XNA Laura or something. The, t the Targa alpha channel is almost always empty. And so if you have an empty alpha channel, it defaults to all white, which yields this terrifying thing. Okay. So with that being said, we want to next bring in the diffuse, which we will use as a guide. So. The first thing you want to do is you want to desaturate your diffuse, make it all black and white. And the next thing you want to do, if you want to get that uh, sweaty texture that I had going on, you want to add some noise to it. And so the way I do this is I look, and this is 496 by 496. So if I just go to straight up doing noise in PaintShop Pro, I can't control the size of the noise particulates, so they're really small. I don't know if Photoshop allows you to change how big the noise pixels are, but the way I have to do it in PaintShop Pro is I have to do it this way. So I make a 1024 by 1024 pure black, and then I add 15% noise, uh, Gaussian monochrome, don't need multiple colors. And then I copy this and I paste it as a new layer in here. And then I upscale it 400% on each axis. 400%. So it will take up the whole thing. And then I reposition it. I'm going to yell at me because we have frozen old program. And then I go to the blending modes and I set it to screen so that the black goes away and only the white of the noise remains. And as I zoom in, you can see it's got some pretty thick blocks for the pixels, which is exactly what I want. Now I go and I collapse all these down. And now where the magic comes into play is with the brightness and contrast. So the specular, you want to be really dark and you want it to have a really strong highlight. So you want the light areas to be a lot lighter than the dark areas. So with that, you want to start with the brightness. You want to kick it down, usually about negative 100. actually works pretty good in PaintShop Pro. Obviously in Photoshop, you have to, have to tinker with it, but this is about the color you want. And then you want to play with the brightness and contrast, the contrast, try to get a really good contrast. Like I find for this one, uh, negative 130 works. So you go like that, so that's that, and then you go back to your normal map, or go back to your, uh, yeah, your bump map, and you go and you add the diffuse that you've recolored as an alpha channel. So the way you do that in PaintShop Pro is you add it as a mask, and then you save the mask to alpha channel. So if I come over here, you see it doesn't have an alpha channel, so we're saving it. And then we delete that, and then we 
save out this target with the alpha channel and then we go to VTF edit and open this with VTF edit. So VTF edit because it's a 496 by 496 texture it's going to take a little while to load but what we just did is the bulk of the work that's more or less everything that has to be done. So the only thing left to do is convert it to an actual VTF and install it. And then I'm using Material Overrides so I can quickly show with Source Filmmaker. If you're doing it on an actual model, you would just override the normal map and it will work just fine. So I come over here and I turn on the Alpha Channel. And you can see that we have our Alpha Channel there. Okay. So then we go back here to RGB again. And then we just save this out. This is Body Arm. And, and I'm naming it Specular because I don't want to override this one I already have. And we come over here and we paste it in. Uh, body arms and specular, my bad. You know what? For posterity's sake, let's name that something new so I know the new one's coming in. Okay, so then we come over here to material overrides and we put that in. And look at that. And we can boost the bong to make it brighter. We can boost the exponent to make it tighter. And just like that, no actual effort done. Just real quick and dirty normal map uh, edit. Just darkening the diffuse, throwing some noise in. And you can see what the noise does, what the purpose of the noise is. So let me zoom in a bit here. The purpose of the noise is to give that bumpy texture to it so it's not that really smooth metal feel that the no specular has it gives it more depth it can simulate uh, skin pores and such so that's just a really cheap and dirty way to do uh, skin specular maps and it adds a lot of detail a lot of uh, realism to the shine if that's what you're going for and that's it